Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist, and welcome to part two of the Hick Thermal Comparison videos. Uh, as, you, as you saw in part one, we had the Griffin range. This time we have the Lynx range. Now, of course, the Lynx range has been around from the start, obviously when the owls were out and the Vulcans were out as well. And um, what we've got now is they have changed and upgraded and all that sort of stuff. They have all sorted their different sensors out. So what have we got here? We've got the LCO6, we've got the LE10, the LH15, the LH19, and the LH25. Now the H range, that is of course your 384 by 2288, the 12 micron sensor, uh, and then you've got your 260 by 162 sensors on the LE10 and the LC06. Obviously it's slightly smaller on the LC06 going further from that. Um, so what what does each one represent? Well, as you'll see in a minute, when I obviously go through each four, uh, every, each five, sorry, I should say, you'll see what um, the difference between each one. Obviously, the 384 sensors, much in line with the lower range, Griffin range, are going to be better. And of course, you do get these sort of front focus styles the further up you go, especially on the 19 and on the 25. Um, one really good selling point about the actual Lynx range, of course, is that you can start with a thermal at £380. Of course, it does have its purpose built in mind for close range, uh, as you'll see from the footage. But then, of course, the Lynx range goes from that right up to sort of £1,300. And it's really there to cater for that sort of budget. So, without further ado, let's have a look through the images, um, comparing all five. As I say, what I'll do is I'll go through, I'll zoom them all in, uh, I'll zoom them all back, and then I'll go through the different colour palettes, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back and we'll have a look afterwards. So first up we have the LC06, as you can see you can only just about pick up the, the bales at the top there, uh, has got the smaller sensor on this and you can slightly pick up the horses on the right. The LE10, slightly better sensor, uh, and you can see you can definitely can pick up the horses, a higher base mag and more definition in the trees this time and more definitely more definition in the bales. And then we got onto the first of the 384 sensors, the LH15 Pro. So there you go, you really do pick up more definition. You can clearly identify that as a horse on the base mag. Uh, and we move up to the 19 with the adjustable focus on the front. Again, a wider field of view and a um, just a, a slightly lower base mag than the 15. And then you move finally onto the 25, which has um, a higher base mag than the 19, but again, a front focus, allowing for that more in-depth of imagery. Comparing all five now, we can quite clearly see that the LCO6, obviously, um, it is aimed at a certain price point. It is more designed for close range, close range thermal, thermal use, whereas when you look at the 15, 19, and 25, that 384 sensor really does draw it out. The LE10 does offer a nice in between thermal uh, so if you want to want to use it for um for sort of really close range stuff the 10 is going to be more suited as you can see i'm just going through the color palettes as well just to show you the different different uh situations and how each one looks obviously as you look at say, the 25 for example you really could see the shadows of the horses there so guys, that was the footage, as you can see, from the actual units themselves. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you learned and maybe decided which one might be best for your needs, of course, based on price point as well. As I say, when you come across all these devices, seeing them next to one another, you do learn, learn one or two things. But as I say, any questions, please don't feel, uh, feel afraid to leave them in the comments below or drop us an email or give us a call even if you want to. Uh, but I've been James, your night vision and hunting specialist, and this has been another video by Optics Warehouse.